bike. You've seen it. Good, powerful truck. I just replaced all kinds of stuff on it this year. Like, one of the things I replaced, and let's just start off with that, is the transmission. I blew a couple transmission lines last year while I was plowing, and I replaced them with some rubber ones, but uh, the transmission had drained out, and because of that, the transmission wouldn't go over 35 miles an hour uh, in, in drive, but it would go over 35 miles an hour in second gear. And believe it or not, I should have left it like that, because uh, at least then I could plow with it. Now I can't. So that was like a one thing led to another situation. And uh, that's exactly what happened. One thing led to another. First it was the transmission lines and then it was the transmission itself. Then it went from one mechanic to another mechanic with the same problems because the problem started adding up because every time I took it to a mechanic, he fixed what I wanted him to fix, but he also fixed something else and in the process broke something else too. So I never got it back in the condition I wanted it to be in. And all I really wanted, all I really wanted was to be able to plow with this year, again this year because I have customers that depend on me to plow the driveways. And this is New Hampshire, snow gets deep, people get stuck, and then on these back roads like this, we, we don't get, to, the town don't plow us very quick. They get around to it when they get around to it. So if, uh, if I was to plop this hood right now and show you all the new shiny stuff inside, First of all, I'd have to go get a, a piece of steel to stick in here to pop the hood. Because guess what? The, the hood cable is broken. But uh, I can still get in it. It's just a little tricky. Then, once you're inside and you look underneath the hood, you're going to see that it has a brand new water pump. Which I don't think it needed. I didn't ask for it. Uh... The two lines that go to the transmission are made of stainless steel. They cost 140 bucks a piece. There's two of them right there. I didn't, I didn't want those. I already spent $100 on rubber ones that I put in, which apparently weren't good enough for some mechanic. They were good enough for me and my truck, though. Then along with that, the cooling, cooling, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, a little radiator looking thing in the front that goes with the cooling that cools the fluid for the transmission. He replaced that too, even though there was totally nothing wrong with that. Uh, to go on, uh, this is a long list. I don't know if I'm probably going to miss half of it. Uh, the wheel bearing needed to be replaced on the right front, right here, which uh, I have no, I have no uh, argument with that. I, if a wheel bearing needs to be replaced, it needs to be replaced. He found it and uh, told me about it, and then... Uh, fixed it for me so that was good but in the process of doing all this stuff putting in the transmission putting in the lines for it uh, putting in a cooler uh, exchanger there uh, <clears throat> he somehow the, the lights on this side of the truck right here these two lights both head and, high and low didn't work anymore when I got it back So, uh, that was a problem, because I need lights. So I hooked it up to the truck, I mean to the plow, hooked the truck up to the plow, or the plow up to the truck, either way, hooked them up, and uh, the, plow, the plow don't work. There's no plow lights, there's no power to lift the plow or to turn it left or right. The plow does not work. So now, and I should mention too that that list I gave you was small, but it was like $300 for those lines. The water pump was $777. Uh, he put in uh, all the little things, the pulleys that turn the belts. Uh, he, I mean, he replaced all that. This, that bill, let me tell you, that bill ended up being 5000 bucks by the time it was done. And when I drove out of there, I still didn't have headlights, and I still couldn't hook up to my plow. And let me tell you, too, the reason 
that I went in there in the first place was because the transmission was blown and I needed a new transmission. And because I had, uh, I forgot to mention, the oil pan was rusted out. Uh, I could have got by another year dripping oil on all my customers' driveway, but uh, I figured since I was going to pull the transmission, that's a good time to do the oil pan because that is a good time to do the oil pan on these Rams, on this third generation Ram. Uh, because you got to drop the transmission to get the oil pan out. Uh, I don't know whoever come up with that idea. That's some fantastic, awesome engineering there. Some, uh, some uh, designer come up with. 